Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jonathan. Now, most of us have to carry keys at one point or another, and generally it's a bit of a pain. So I've been looking for a solution to the key carry problem, and I think I might have found one. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Okay, so what is the problem? Well, in this form, they are clanky and uncomfortable in the pocket. They're also quite hard to change the keys over. And then we have this problem, the car key. How do you make it more practical and refined? Two of the most popular options out there would include Orbit Key, uh, really nicely designed. You basically fasten your keys in and they are designed to slide out a little bit like using a pocket knife where you slide out the key you need. That makes them look stylish, it stops them rattling about and on the surface it looks like a good option. Obviously you can't fit your car key in there so it relies on the car key being attached separately which is not a bad solution. There is a problem with it though from my point of view and that is on my key ring the keys are not flat and I don't know whether that's something that is more prevalent in the UK or whether this is a kind of worldwide problem but this is not a flat key it does not sit well in an orbit key type solution because when you put a flat key next to it you get this sort of effect. This is another key I use and this doesn't have a hole in the center so again in the orbit key solution it just slides about. It's not ideal and there's other variations on it as well, key smart and loads of others and it's a, it's a good solution I would say if all your keys are flat. The other problem with it, on my keyring I don't just carry keys so apart from the car key I've also got a tile and that could also be an air tag from Apple although the good thing about the tile is it actually has a hole in it to put a key ring on. I've also got on here a fob to get into my office. So as good as it is, if you've got flat keys, perhaps that's the one to go for, but for everybody else, it's not going to do it. Well, I'm also a fan of Bellroy's key carry option. It's really neat and functional. The car key attaches separately, but again, you need flat keys for that to really work. So I've been looking for a solution that is more comfortable to carry, is more flexible in terms of what it can carry. So the keys don't have to be flat and you can carry other key ring items. And once you start looking at those options, there aren't that many. The one that's been around forever is the split ring, which we're all familiar with. But it's not perfect. You know, if you want to get the keys off, you can do it. it. You know, it involves this sort of thing. There aren't too many elegant options out there, but there is a new one. Let me introduce the key loop from Wingback. This is a machined aircraft grade stainless steel component consisting of two halves that screw together. And in addition to that, it comes with this. And this looks like a piece of string. It is in fact ultra high molecular weight polyethylene rope. What does that mean? Well, it means it's 15 times stronger than steel, weight for weight. It's ultra abrasion resistant. It is low friction. And there is a trade name for this type of material called Dyneema, which you might have heard before. It's used extensively in rigging on yachts. So what happens when you get a piece of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene cord and this uh, component? This is our new keychain offering. Let me show you how it works. You get a meter of the cord from uh, Wingback with your stainless steel component. And it's really simple to put together. You unscrew the two parts and it has this uh, knurled diamond cut finish. It also has an O-ring which basically holds it in place securely. You decide how long you want this cord to be. You get a meter with it. I'm then going to cut that down. That will leave us with some spare. 
then I'm going to loop it through the hole like that and then I am going to tie it is as simple as that I'm just going to make sure I'm happy with that length so here we have one of the simplest keychains available and let me show you how it works okay goodbye split ring so how do we put the keys on it is literally this simple so i'm going to put that on first then that then the two keys there we have it a simple way of carrying your keys and because it holds them quite tight uh, you don't get the jangling in the same way as you would on a split ring keychain and this is really odd shaped keys and keyring elements what if you just had flat keys well then it looks super slick so let's say we had four flat keys to try one Two, that's not flat. Three, four. And there we have it. And that is a very elegant solution. You'll notice there's no clank in here because it holds them quite tightly. The fact that this interesting material is low friction means it's easy to take the keys in and out and that's what that's the real excitement for me with this solution the way you can get keys out really easily and change them about for me my normal carry would be house key office key and then as i'm a little bit paranoid a key finder and then that's quite a neat solution in itself, I would say. But if I wanted to add the the office fob, which I suppose I really need if I want to get into the, the office, I just do that. And there we there we have it. This sits flatter than a normal keychain because the, the normal keychain would be now sat like that so that means when it's in your pocket you don't have uh, as much sticking in as you would with a normal split ring but what about the car keys how do I attach those well you might have noticed there is a hole in the other end you've already seen that it comes apart so let's add another half to our keychain I'm gonna do the same put that in there and I'm going to just tie a very simple knot in there just put them together and now we have this setup the great thing about this now is here's my car keys and you simply just do that and I've now got car keys, attach it to here. And there we have a really nice key carry option. It sits really flat. It's really neat and it works really well. And if I wanted to take the Mini out and ditch the Land Rover, well, that's pretty easy to do as well. Put the mini on there there we go and now we have the mini ready to go so i think this is a really neat solution and accommodates all sorts of different key sizes and key ring items you can put as much on or as little on as you want and you can change it really quickly you know if i want to take all the keys off this put something else on 
literally do that. So this is what we're left with. This is our key ring of the future. So that in itself is a great key carry option. But it doesn't stop there. There is something we can add to this that increases its functionality and its versatility even more. And that is the key cache. You might have seen this kind of thing before. It's a really nice key ring. Actually, I was going to say a traditional split ring, but it's a little bit nicer than that. Machined out of a solid block of stainless steel. It's really well finished. You can just tell it's really well engineered. And effectively, it's somewhere to stash emergency currency in the form of a note. It's got an O-ring there, so it will protect it against moisture and water. Now, the great thing is, and you might have guessed it, the loop and the stash, they are compatible. So what if you wanted to attach the stash to your keyring? You can do that. You might even want to put a key ring on here and you can do that if you want. With just these two components is actually a load of flexibility. What if you wanted to remove this and add some paracord here? And all of a sudden you've got some new versatility here. It starts to create some really interesting options. This is a really good one. If you don't want a double ended keychain, you could have the key stash on there. So these are the two keys I use. One's office, one is home. And now we've got a really nice solution there. So the key stash itself, let's just have a look at that. You get this very nice flat split ring key ring. And these components are really nicely engineered, as we've already said. And then in terms of what they carry, this is a UK 20 pound note. This is the biggest note we have. It's also plastic, which makes it really difficult to fold up. Um, and I'll show you the dimensions in a second. So that goes in there really nicely. And that could be on the split ring there, or you might choose to put this on your keychain. The uh, the British £20 note is big. Let me just show you how big this is so you can be convinced it will work with any notes. So we're talking about 140 mil, which is five and a half inches by, what have we got? Just over 70 mil, which is pretty just shy of three inches there. So if you've got a bigger note than that, I'd be quite surprised, but there you, you know, they, it's gonna fit that going to fit most and as I say this is plastic which makes it actually quite hard to roll up so there's loads of room in here it got me thinking this isn't necessarily just for cash it's whatever you want it to be an obvious one for me is meds now I have high blood pressure I know hard to believe and if I don't take my meds then obviously there's a good chance uh, I might explode so it's important I take them daily and uh, if I forget them it's bad news and I could fit probably a week's worth in here. You could probably fit in some cut down matches and a striker if that's your thing. Be interested to know what else might fit in there. Let me give you some dimensions. Feel free to feedback in the comments. Easily get something 3 8 in there uh, or 10 mil. And uh, the length of it is about 25 mil, an inch. And there's a little bit of room in the top there as well. So that is a good solution for me. 
in terms of different finishes this is stainless steel they also do a brass version and they do a tungsten carbide black finish which is ultra hard because each one is effectively made to order you can have up to 25 characters engraved in the end here now that could be a phone number could be an email address a name so that's a really nice bit of personalization and customization you can have and you specify that when you order it's been launched on kickstarter as i film this it's just going through the funding stage it's been seven or eight times um overfunded so it's definitely going to happen and it's a relatively straightforward thing to manufacture it's been manufactured in england so it's ready to go so once the fund run comes to an end it will go straight into production so they're going to be shipping it in the next uh, few weeks i will put links underneath this video to the website to the kickstarter campaign so check that out if you uh, if you want to look into it in more detail in terms of the cost as i mentioned before if you are looking for a low cost option this is not going to be it this is actually uh, reasonably i wouldn't say expensive because you have to consider value this is something that is going to last a long time or a lifetime so this will retail for 32 pounds in the uk that includes purchase tax that will equate to about 45 dollars in the us the loop the wingback loop here which consists of uh, the stainless steel components and the high-tech cord is also uh, the same price so 32 pounds around 45 dollars including tax so for me a really elegant solution it cuts down on the clankiness it looks really cool it sits more comfortably in the pocket and it's really easy to swap the keys in and out you've also got the key uh, stash option for carrying emergency cash or meds and you can swap them all about to your heart's content so i really like this option it's not the cheapest thing out there but you can be absolutely confident that the quality is top notch so there you have it i hope that's been useful if you enjoy this sort of content please consider subscribing here as always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one